More raiders? Jesus, they're coming out of the woodworks. Okay, well... This group should have enough military to... deal with that group of raiders. So, that's what I'm going to have them do. <sighs> deal with them. Vikings cause me everlasting problems. I should just conquer all of Scandinavia in order to get these fucking Vikings off my back. Why are you still there? You're not really even looting anything anymore. Well, whatever. You're dying now. Die, you pricksterd. And I am surprised this holding has... not fallen yet. I think it would go a lot faster. Well, no matter. Now. This army gets my generals. I want to make sure that we have victory. Luckily, I am getting my flank on here, so... Oh, I'm having a new kid on the way. That's nice. War seems to be going well. All of them, really. That battle is looking pretty damn decisive. And the Battle of Edinburgh is over. Now as for this battle here, and it looks like I was able to get some aid from Totodal of the Isles. Thanks man, really appreciate it, though I understand you're really only doing it because your ass is on the line too. And apparently their stack was on the side where I had a... A week. Thoughts trailing off. Don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not too concerned about it, though. Oh, hey, question. This province is Jewish Aztec, so what do the soldiers look like? Excellent. Just as they should. Aza Flatnefer is dead. Who is the third wife of Victor? For the love of God, son, you're only 31 and you're a triple widower? How, how does that happen? You married a Viking to a zealous Viking. What were you thinking? Well, at the very least, she was the last of the House of Flatnefer. Oh, and she gave me a grandson that was named after me. Now see, that I like. That's good, I, I like that. Very much so. Okay, so it looks like one war... over. The Fifth Alban Invasion of Ireland has ended. Now all we need to do is finish up this war, which really should go exceedingly quickly. Also, I need to give away these titles. And I need to find... a good... You know, I think we need a spy class. So I'm going to give it to Mizadl here. You get Ormond. Mizadl Waterforded. Waterforded? Uh, whatever. 
Whatever, I'm not gonna question it. Not gonna question your your choice in surnames, and it is a choice! Because before you were just a lowborn, and you don't... Oh. This is really a thing. Yeah, get the fuck out of here! There! God damn it! I hate all the work that goes into keeping people from sieging down my territory! When they're not even at war with me, they're just fucking Viking pricks! Well, I'm going to make them suffer. But, for now... I'm just going to, uh... To give land to my... Huh. Constantine, you were, um... You were one of the Fraticellis, weren't you? Of Strathian, yeah, yeah, he, he totally was. One of the, um... One of the Fraticellis. Wonder how many of them are still alive. Alexander is. Naturally, the uh, leader Dugald is not. But most of them are actually in the court of Strathearn. Duncan? No, oh, but. Actually, he may not have been one of them. Huh. It actually kind of looks like a lot of them are not here. Well, whatever. Ireland has... nearly fallen. Now all I need to do is go after Wales. Invasion of Wales. Invasion of Wales. And... I will raise an army... to crush them. I think I'm going to have everyone meet in... Kildari seems like a good spot. Probably far enough away from the uh, main force of... however you pronounce that, that I won't need to worry about being attacked until after I can get my army together. Honestly, I don't see why you can't just declare war while you got the levies raised. I mean, you can't! And that's a well-established fact of the game. I just don't see why that has to be a rule. Given that most of the time when I... Ooh, money! I love money! Commander of Albanawa, Judea... Okay, here's something I'm wondering about. So, I may be able to... raise... what is it that looks like? 3,000 troops from levies alone. No, I 
wonder where they're going to try to attack. Ireland, East Anglia, or Lothian. My guess is probably Ireland, possibly East Anglia, Lothian not too likely, but I suppose technically a possibility. Who knows, maybe the two guys will try to attack different areas. Could be interesting to see. And I just realized I've been paused this entire time. the bulk of their army. It's going to reach us near the start of October. What, why are you leading this army? Hmm. This is going to be a rough battle. I'm gonna see about balancing it a little more. But we're definitely going to need this trickle from reinforcements in order to uh, last, I think. I'm going to ignore them for now. But we do have reinforcements trickling in. They're slowly making their way to Kildare. We'll probably be fine, especially since we're defending. Everyone knows, in any battle, defenders have the advantage. Come on, reinforcements, we sort of need you here. There. Reinforcements put us over the edge. And we won the battle! So the Battle of St. Bridget, which was a huge, decisive victory. The enemy is routed. The main bulk of their military is fleeing to Leinster, Leinster, however the fuck it's pronounced. But they fail to escape. Leinster is now under siege. I have a daughter, Shiloshach. Hmm. What would I call my daughter? Victoria, maybe? Or I could just go with... Mm, no, no, no. What to do, what to do? Yeah, I'm gonna go with... No. Um... Err... Ooh, can't decide what to call her. A lot of good English sounding names. I'm gonna call her. N no. No, I shouldn't. How about Sally? Which is... Short for S Nah, I'm, I'm just gonna d make it Sally. Yeah, there we go. So... Ugh! Oh, is this a joke? Oh wait, no, that's just the Gwynedian army. They're actually attacking... Lothian. That I was not expecting. No arbitrary for my kids. Seriously, it's a terrible trait. I will not condone it. Jimmy.
So luckily for me, those guys are fucking off. They couldn't siege down the province, so they're leaving. Lucky me. What? I wanted to merge them, not... Oh! 